my friends, this is Ranger Rob and welcome to the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel. Kind of a busy Sunday for us. Um, I got the old injector out, which can only mean Rob's cooking something in the trigger, which we'll go take a look in a minute. Also got a package in today. And uh, let's take a look and see what's in it. Got to do all this one handed. Come on. <laughs> Sorry. Alrighty, got some seeds. What do we got? Well, we got ourselves some, oh, uh, where's the labels? Come on. There we go. Sweet corn. Yes, sir, Rebob. This is the new corn I'm going to plant next year. And another sweet corn. And uh, this is all from uh, Gurney's. And uh, what I'm trying to do is find a better sweet corn for next year. And uh, just in case we have problems getting seeds next year, I uh, wanted to make sure uh, uh, I got it early. And uh, we store it in a cool area. Let's see, what else is going on? I am cooking a Czech roast, so uh, let's go take a look. So the interesting thing out here is we also have a painter. Oh my gosh. What are we painting? Trim. Trim. Yeah, she loves painting. Not. She, her favorite thing to do no. is painting. And uh, she says, Rob, let me paint today. And I said, well, if you must, okay. So uh, what we're trying to do is we have a lot of trim here that was painted with the original color of the house, which was a different color before we had the hardy plank put on. And Sherry just can, couldn't wait to, to, to paint. Uh, she already did our... Uh, well house. Of course, that's not really the paint. That's just the primer, it's isn't it? Primer. <laughs> it's just primer. But I was promising to show you what's in the Traeger. So in the Traeger today, we have a Czech roast. This uh, Czech roast is from Butcher Block, and uh, it's grass-fed. And what I'm doing is I, I seasoned it, and then I injected it with seasonings, and I'm going to slow cook it in the smoking uh, uh, setting for oh quite a few hours then towards the end of the day we'll crank it up just a little bit get it up to about 135 and uh, she should be ready for munching on also yes where's the dogs they're out in the, one of the fields here enjoying new bones because they're outside with mom and uh, so uh, spoiled dogs Pretty day. It's actually a, a nice, comfortable day. Probably a warm up a little more where it's going to be a little warm, but uh, still, a, it's a splendid day. So our grass looks gorgeous. Sure, yeah. Mowed all the grass yesterday. Uh, did a little harvesting, and uh, of course, my chore is always to go out and check all the tanks, and that's just what we'll do. Well, I stopped in here at the greenhouse. Looks really nice. Bok choy is getting big. Need to cook that up pretty quick here. All the lettuce, I actually made a beautiful salad already. So I'm really in good shape for lettuce. And uh, looks like I have a couple of tomatoes turning a little bit. And by the way, I do have broccoli in here, right in here. And uh, it'll be interesting to see if I can get some broccoli before the winter. And uh, yeah, the plants are monstrous. Feel all that. So, uh, I see a couple of tomatoes starting to turn, to ripen. And uh, I got quite a little stash over here. Look at this. We just got to get them to ripen. And, uh, yeah, I probably need to top these. I got to get them to quit growing. Because uh, we can definitely feel the effects of fall. Well, the chickens are acting spoiled like usual. They always come in the door thinking I'm going to bring them another treat. And they've been digging a lot of holes and dusting themselves and just having a good old time as a chicken. And uh, it won't be long I'll be shutting down the NFT 
uh, this outdoor wine. I did put one head of lettuce on there. And uh, as far as lettuce is concerned, my floating rafts is enough to sustain me and Sherry. That and the propagator, which is in the house. So uh, I'm starting to think it's getting time to shut this down. Uh, like I said, next year I'm doing NFT indoors because the hot weather was, a, you guys saw this summer, it just at 100 degree weather uh, and black pipe didn't help. Uh, it was getting pretty toasty and almost everything I put out there went to, uh, went to flower really quick because it was just too hot and made the uh, lettuce bitter. All right, checking on the strawberries. It doesn't even look like I got three cups of strawberries off of here already. Strawberries all over. And uh, look at that. So uh, strawberries aren't slowing down yet, but uh, uh, it will happen. But I may get another harvest of strawberries. Hopefully uh, once or t maybe one or two more times. I can hear the water dripping, so the water system went. I had to fill the tank today. Uh, and I may have to go find myself a strawberry to munch on. So I love it when uh, I run the Traeger all day. The property, when the wind's going the right direction, smells like a, a smoker all over the property. And uh, <laughs> I don't care what you say, that's like perfume. So I decided to stop over here at the garden over here. I've got some gigantic zucchini down here. And, uh, like I said, we're just full up on food, so I think I'm going to cut that big one off and give it to the chickens. Uh, they love it, so, yeah. Uh, chickens have been eating really well lately. And I even got zucchini over here, too. And, uh, it's not doing too bad. I did, uh, some of you might have noticed in the summer I tried to do, uh, some other cucumbers at the last minute and uh looks like i it's trying but uh i think i planted them too late but uh also i got a little cantaloupe plant over here um it'll be interesting to see if i actually get that cantaloupe to ripen but uh yeah <laughs> still growing stuff all right guys so i uh i went ahead and i uh, chickens cut off a couple of uh, zucchinis right there and I'm gonna cut them up a little bit and throw them in there and let them enjoy them well yesterday guys we had our first pumpkin pie from Costco's with Cool Rip it was super delicious and uh, yesterday was quite the connoisseur day because we also got sushi so it was a wonderful day for really good treats today I'm doing of course a check roast slow slow cooking it and uh i might be wrong about the final uh temperature i'm gonna do a, a check and i'll let you know but uh yeah i uh i'm, I'm kind of anxious to taste i've never ordered any ro roast from a butcher block box before and so uh, it'd be uh, interesting to see how it comes out uh, i am using the Bearded Butcher's Black uh, rub on it and also made a uh, a warm sauce that I injected into the meat so it'll give it flavor inside too. So yeah, it should be really good. Well, we got the uh, water nutrients put into the tank and fill in the water. Uh, it'll last about three days for the strawberries right here. And uh, almost filled up and I always give the uh, plants a little extra water when I'm out here and then as soon as I'm done with that I always throw the hose into the dog's pool let that cycle a little some fresh water in it I can't I can't keep it clean because the dogs hop in it and they're all dusty and dirty and so the best thing I do is just cycle the best water I can in here I don't have problems with algae. I just have problems with dirt. And uh, that's because the dogs go in and out of it all day. Or at least Cinder does. Uh, Belle just drags it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she uh, likes her pool. Uh, Cinder is in this thing every day. And uh, 
She's just weighed. Sometimes she puts her belly in it, but uh, I don't know what she'd do without a pool. Now the other one, which is over here eating a bone, uh, just has nothing to do with a pool. Doesn't like getting wet. All right, we got Cinder's pool done. And I uh, thought I'd come around the house here and get myself in trouble. Because uh, that's what I do. And uh, try not to get hit. So, did you, uh, you finished the house? Right. Is the house finished? Sure. Is that all done? Sure. So, uh, nice primer. Yeah. <laughs> We love painting. I hate painting. Oh yeah, let's uh let's peek on our on the check roast. Yeah, so I need to go into uh, the house, do a little research on check roast, because I might have miscalculated the internal temperature, according to the high command. And, uh, oh, you're doing the edging too. You're brave. Oh, isn't painting fun? No. Hey, looks like we're getting some tomatoes here. So, uh, anyway, I gotta go do some homework. Okay, guys, we're back at the uh, Traeger. We're gonna do this a little different. So I'm slow cooking it at uh, uh, about 150, but I wanna take that up a little more. So we're gonna take it up to 225. And uh, we're going to uh, take the internal temperature of this up to uh, about the 160 realm, somewhere around there. And then we're gonna cover this. And uh, this is gonna take a while, but we're gonna try to get the temperature up to 200. So what I'm gonna have to do throughout the day is I need to kind of, to keep from the top from getting too dry, is basting it, which I put some uh, seasoning base in there, the same stuff I injected it with. So I'm just gonna come out here with a, a little brush Oh, every half hour or so and just hit the top of this and, uh, and, and I'll also be checking the temperature a lot. When I get in about 160, 165, that's when we're going to cover it and then take it to 200. Now this should turn out to be very tender and we could actually make sandwiches out of it and everything. So I haven't done a uh, check roast in a long time and so after doing a little homework, that's the process I'm going to follow. So. Let's uh, turn up the temperature. I'm gonna baste this and then we'll come back. All right guys, so we got it all basted. We're gonna close this back up. Come back in about an hour or so, check the temperature and I'll see where we stand. Okay guys, about four o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, checking on the check roast. Uh, looking pretty good. And uh, what we're gonna do right now is take the temperature. And uh, I use this little guy right here. Plug it on in there. So we're about 157. So probably in a half an hour, I'm gonna cover it with a tin foil and then crank up the heat just a little bit more to about 275 and then uh, take it to 200. So, uh, so far it's looking really good. All right guys, so uh, our check roast is, uh, I just, covered it up with tin foil and uh, uh, turned the heat up to about 275. So now we're taking it to 200 degrees. By then I ought to be able to be to torn apart and we can make some sandwiches out of it. And uh, we have a fresh salad to go with our dinner. So it should be really good. So Sherry and I are gonna step out really quick, get the eggs and then I'm gonna clean the chicken hatch really quick. And then uh, we'll go back to the uh, check roast after that. Okay, so what we're gonna do really quick here is Sherry's gonna get my eggs out of here. And then uh, the sides of our boxes drop down. So we're gonna clean this one out and then clean out the main one, which is they roost up above here. And uh, so they get a lot of droppings. Super easy to clean our cage. And I put it right into a wheelbarrow, my uh, gorilla cart, and then it goes into our compost. So yeah, this will go quick. All right, we got the back opened up. I'll be scooping everything into here, then uh, putting it into the compost bin. And I see I get some visitors. Hi guys. You can see uh, you know, where they roost, they definitely pile up the stuff. So 
let's get her done. All right, so it's all scraped out, put it into my uh, gorilla cart. Just gotta throw some new hay in there and this side's all done, it's super easy. We have a uh, shower lining uh, material on the floor here and it was the best decision we ever made. All right guys, got the sides open, cleared it out, put it all in the bucket here. Just gotta get a, take this over to compost and uh, add a little more hay in here and we're set to go. Guys, got all that in the compost bin. Probably water that down a little bit, she's pretty full. And uh, we'll go back to cooking. Guys, we're back at the Traeger. We got this covered up. Uh, we're gonna cheat a little and just go right through the tin foil and see what the temperature is of the meat. All right, I did one, uh, one check at, uh, through the tin foil, it was already 210. So let me uh, check this. I opened it up here. Well, guess what? Our meat is done. So uh, we're gonna, gonna go get some stuff to carry this off. I gotta take it back in the house, let it rest for about a half hour or so, and then we'll pull apart. Okay, so uh, I pulled the uh, roast out. Uh, we're letting it rest right now, and uh, it smells delicious. And uh, once this sits for a while, we're gonna pull it apart and see what we can do with it. In the meantime, sure, he's making some pico de gallo, and uh, yum. So uh, yeah, we got kind of a nice little treat of dinner tonight. So she's getting ready to add some cilantro to it, and uh, yeah, so. That's our dinner tonight. Pretty much pulled pork, got some uh, burger, uh, hamburger buns uh, that we're gonna toast, uh, some barbecue sauce and a nice salad. We'll be set, so yeah. <laughs> All right, I was just gonna stop the film, but Sherry just cleared to me, it's not pulled pork. <laughs> Oops, it's gonna be pulled beef. So uh, anyway, sorry about that. So guys, we're gonna eat here pretty soon. All right guys, I wanna thank you guys for joining us today. Uh, we're gonna be eating dinner pretty quick. Propagator, I got, I got my propagator down to four plants and uh, <laughs> one pea starter in here. Uh, yeah, that's a snap sugar pea. So anyway guys, thank you for watching. Hope I inspired you to do a little cooking. Uh, we're kinda of looking forward to dinner tonight and uh, Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. We'd appreciate it. And have a great day, everyone. Bye now. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.